Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sanya and in today's video, I'm going to talk about five important rules of meditation, which I feel if somebody would have told me in the beginning stage, my meditation journey would have become much more streamlined than how it was earlier. For me, it's been three years of meditating and I'm still learning and I still struggle a lot. It's not that I have solved all the problems of my life, but it has kind of really helped me evolve as a person. And that's why I've come up with this whole channel where I share the things that helped me grow in my journey of life. And I feel that I've become more peaceful and more compassionate, more productive, more creative. And all of these things happen because I was consistently meditating along with following certain rules or things that I kind of remind myself every time I meditate. So that's why this video. So let's get started. Tip number one is just start. No matter how small you start or when you start in your life, maybe you're starting at 50 years of age or you're starting at 10 or 12 years of age. All these things don't even matter when it comes to meditating. It's just that the regular consistency that you show every day when you meditate, even if it's just for one minute, that helps you grow in the path of spiritual development. What is spiritual development? It is all about, you know, becoming streamlined and aligned with the energies of life. For example, when we interact with people, we do get entangled. Or whenever we come across so many tasks on our to-do list, we do get irritated by seeing how much work do we have to get done during the day. So when we are consistently meditating, we get a lot of wisdom in life that we are able to sort things out easily and able to prioritize without getting confused. Also, we are able to live a very stress-free life and also able to help others. So all these things came in my life only when I really started meditating and all of these things will help you too if you stick to your regular practice of meditation. And as I told you, it's not about how long you can sit for meditation every day. It's just that as long as you're doing it consistently, that is all. You just need to be regular at it. Second point, a myth regarding meditation. There is one misconception about meditation that if you're doing it once a day, let's say for 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, or maybe one hour, all your problems of life will be solved just by sitting for that one hour. The reality is not true. The reality is that you have to prepare your body and your mind throughout the day just before you're about to meditate so that your meditation practice will become as fruitful as you want it to be and you're able to achieve your meditation goal. For example, when you're going to the gym and working out, you don't just go straight to the gym and start to lift those heavy weights. What you do is you prepare yourself to go to the gym, you wear those gym gears and then you go and warm up a little bit and then you start practicing. And not only that, you make sure that you're eating right. Everything that you do during the day is kind of supporting you during those hours that you're spending in the gym. Similarly, when you are meditating, it's not only about those 10 to 15 or 20 minutes that you spend during meditation it's about what did you do the whole day just before you start to practice meditation meditation is like dealing with the energies and we're trying to purify ourselves we're trying to bring the energy at one concentrated place and then transforming into something which is positive you can say and then the eventual goal of meditation is something even beyond our understanding so let's not go there let's take this video for only beginner and i'll be discussing about this in my further videos point number three is meditation and greed now there are many people out there who are more interested into achieving a trance through kundalini yoga or they just want to experience the benefits of meditation in a shorter duration of time i understand that we do meditate because we want to see the benefits of course otherwise why would we meditate but our major goal should not be about experiencing the trance it should be about taking each lesson in life that we are learning through meditation every day and incorporating it in our lives it's about how we are transforming gradually in this particular path 
and that is what is going to help you in the longer run for example when you first begin to meditate it is possible that you might experience a bliss suddenly and you just want that bliss again and again that is not going to happen because you have to first understand what are the steps that is required to ultimately reach that bliss and that is the hard work that you have to do every day that bliss thing that happens initially to you it's kind of a blessing from god that you're on the right path but now you have to work hard to go there and that's what i've learned in my life that everything which is going to give you happiness is going to take a lot of hard work from you but it is going to be all worth it in this path so people who are just beginning in this journey should not be forced into deeper level of experiences and meditation as it causes severe damage in longer run because your vessel is unprepared to hold that high frequency energy and it leads to a lot of harm instead of benefit let's take an example of going to the gym where you're initially itself your maybe trainer asks you to lift heavier weights or maybe out of greed you just start lifting heavier weights and eventually of course it will do more damage than good to your body similar manner meditation is no different but it's for the mental muscle that we are building this is why greed is something which should be avoided on this path Our fourth point is meditation and mystical powers when we are practicing meditation regularly and we go deep into it eventually we start to experience some sort of a mystical power when in hindi we call them siddhis people do get distracted by them as they consider those powers as the end result of their meditation however these are just not the end result of meditation these are just the by product of your meditation practice and people do get swayed away and that's why they kind of leave the ultimate goal of meditation behind as to why they're doing it and instead just start to chase those powers and eventually they lose those powers i know it's not for beginners however people do get attracted to this point a lot that's why i put it in this video and i'll be making another video to explain it further fifth point is meditation and transformation the ultimate goal of meditation is to achieve self realization or god realization however it's not an easy task to achieve and it's of course not everyone can reach that level in one lifetime and it takes several lifetimes to achieve a particular goal but one way to measure if you're going in the right direction is by observing yourself that you are transforming you would becoming more observant you're becoming more compassionate towards others you're able to forgive others easily you're becoming more patient you're able to solve problems easily you're becoming stress free in life you're able to understand energies in life and if all these things are happening to you when you're gradually moving on this path it means you are in the right direction when you're not getting distracted by the material world around you that means you're on the right path your ego dissolves into the divine when you go deeper into the meditation sessions and you become a medium or a channel through which you're able to help others by drawing insights from your intuitive or super conscious area of the mind which is directly connected to the higher powers you just know it when you're on the right path You just feel very light you don't feel desperate you don't feel a lot of stress you don't overthink you're just peaceful and you're just doing your work without getting attached to the outcomes of your actions it is something to be realized yourself and nobody can actually you know give a platter to you that this is what you have to experience in life you just have to experience it for yourself that's it for today's video if you have any questions for me please comment down below and i'll be happy to answer thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video